Good evening, everybody. It's Dev, uh, the modernist colourist. Um, this video is a little bit earlier than we thought to start with. I was going to start on the 20th of August, uh, but I'm just going to put a little video up because, as you can see, um, this is my old garage, which I have converted into a... Well, it's a utility room, but I'm calling it an art studio. So um, I'm just going to give you a quick flick through the uh, the room um, and then obviously when, once the content starts coming on a regular basis you'll be familiar with the surroundings and uh, you'll know where the videos are being recorded. So we're going to start here. This is uh, my CD collection. Uh, I won't go into those. There's various uh, genres of music in there. Um, I like all sorts of music. So then we go down to my table. Uh, I have bought a tripod, as you can see. Uh, that'll be used for filming uh, for future episodes. And here is a little gadget I got last week. It's a paintbrush holder. Let me just get that back through properly. And as you can see, I've got my water brushes in there. Uh, I've got a few water markers in there. Uh, and I've got some various ranges of textured brushes, some rounded and chisel and angled ones. So once I get uh, a hang of being able to use watercolours a bit better than I can at the moment, then obviously we will uh, be using those. So this is my pride and joy at the moment. This is my... Uh, five by five, five by four, sorry, no, five by five. Uh, so the 25 individual squares, all dedicated to colouring. So I'm just going to take you through each one just uh, for a brief moment so we can have a look. Um, the first one, okay, so I've got, I think I've got four sets in here. Um, there is a 200 count of um faber castell polychromos in there that would be the 120 and also a 60 and then plus some uh, open stock in here um i've got fine liners in here i've got the spectrum noir color soft in here are my albert dura full 120 set plus there is um think 60 of the ink tents in there and then my first shelf of books this tends to be the ones that are more recently bought um, not necessarily uh, new as in age of the book but the ones that I've bought so you kind of get a gist of what I've done here um, as you can see at the bottom here we've got the um, few Chinese books, the pop manga books, um, a Darius song, this mysterious planet one here that was enabled by John, uh, the bibliophile colorist, a good friend of mine, um, and there's Tomislav Tomic, World Dahl, Mysterious Library, The Romantic Countries, some other bits and bats, and then there is I think I've got two Neil Gaiman books here. These are absolutely fantastic. I'm going to do a flip through of those two books as a separate episode once I start getting up and running. Then I've got my two Jasmine Beckett Griffith books and, and then I've also got um, the Dragons book by Rayen Phelan. Um, moving across, we have... Uh, the Imagimorphias, uh, Kirby Rosans, Anamorphia, uh, Joanna Basford. I've got three Lizzie Cullen books there, Magical Christmas, uh, Magical Journeys, Magical City. And then, like I said, Joanna Basford, Ivy and the Inky Butterfly, um, Lost Ocean, Secret Garden. And then at the end, uh, up here, uh, there are a few artist editions. Um, which are really, really good uh, quality-wise. So they are going to be a separate episode as well. And then moving across, these tend to be the hardbacks that I've got. Uh, I've got Drew Reese, Summer Nights, Seasons, 
Magical Dawn, all by Hannah Carlson. And then Maria Troll. Um, then we have Clara Markova. Another Maria Troll. I haven't got her new one. Um, the cost to ship it to my address were absolutely extortionate. It was more than the book. So I've not got that as yet. And then here I've got four. Uh, I'll just pull them out. So excuse the camera work. I'm not really used to it. Uh, these are Linda Ravenscroft books. Now these are... I have a set of five. There's four here. All signed in the top corner. And these books are beautiful. Uh, the quality is immense. Um, the artwork is second to none. As you can see. I'm not going to do full flip throughs. Full flip throughs. Purely because um, it would take too long. So that's currently my whip at the moment. Which is the fifth Linda Ravenscroft book. Uh, I'm doing that with my luminance at the moment. So going back to the shelving. I have another two sets up here. I have these massive two... 150 um, slot cases they're more like briefcases these I have Prismacolor I have two 150 counts so I've got 300 um, split over that so that's full of them and then there are 60 in here uh, on top of that I have I think another two sets of Prismacolor in there and then I have also a portrait pack, which has never been used yet. Um, and then moving down, some more colouring books in there. Uh, Horrible History colouring book, Walking Eden. The Bicycle colouring book. Uh, and then here, I think that is a 260 gel pen pack, which I've not used yet. Um, these are the 100 Crayola coloured pencils. Um, these are, I was enabled, I was enabled with these through the Art Spirits. Uh, she started buying them and got me hooked. The quality again on here is magnificent. Um, as you can see, these particular small ones are pull outs. Um, which can be used for watercolour or pencil work. Uh, but I love those. Uh, and I think I've got about... Let's have a look. I think I've got maybe 12 out of the full set of 20. Um, that's the small ones. The larger ones of those are further down, which I'll show you shortly. Moving on to the next shelf, we have... Uh, let's have a look. What's in the garden, what's in the water, what's in the woods. All these three are excellent quality. Uh, the White King, that's not one I've seen anybody do a flip through of. Uh, I, I am going to do one. That is more, it looks like an annual, the old annual uh, that you used to get as a kid. Um, it's a hardback book, but the illustrations in there are fantastic. But I'm going to save that for another day. Um, moving across, we've got the... The glass, the throne of glass colouring book, and the court of roses Rose and thorns, which I think are both a series together. Um, the storybook collections, tales to finish, that was enabled by Zoe on uh, Zoe Archer's channel. And then I've got two Lady Mechanica books. Those uh, are fantastic. Um, just while I remember going back up to this shelf. This Whimsical Wonders book, you've probably seen uh, reviews of it online. This was enabled by Colour with Claire, and that is a fantastic book also. The quality of that book is something else. So back to that shelf. Uh, that gets followed on by the three Harry Potters, um, the magical creatures, the magical places and characters, and the magical artifacts and then tucked up against them are some faber castell uh, felt tip markers those were also enabled by zoe archer um, so moving across i have the 96 real brush set of the artesas 
Um, they're next to my favourite markers. Uh, these are the Home Cube. I've not seen many of these about, but I can assure you these are fantastic value. They're also highly, highly pigmented, and the quality of them are phenomenal. They're a lot better than any of the others that I've used. Um, I also have a pack of Carbothellos in here, the chalk pastel pencils. Um, I have a 48 piece premium gel set, gel pen set that was bought as a present. I also have the 60 Arteza gel pens. Um, and then I was watching Anne on A Colourful Life last week. Um, and we both seem to have had the Faber Castell pit pens for a long, long time. I've had these nearly two years not use them and I got started to worry about it and then I looked at Anne's channel and um, she was using them and really surprised that they still had ink in them so all's not lost with those I'm going to start and do a picture of those next week with using those next week moving quickly on to uh, the next section this is all uh, it's mainly books on how to draw um, I have started being able to do small uh, poster art and uh, comic sketches so eventually I want to be able to um, perhaps do like a, you know a couple of sketches and colour them in and so it's all done by myself right from start to finish <coughs> excuse me in and amongst all that is my swatch book uh, I think I've got let's have a look I think I've only done one set in there just take it down here so you can see. Um, yeah, these are the Spectrum Noir Colour Blend. And what I've done with mine is I've, on each, uh, each section, each square, uh, I've done a circle so you can see how they graduate in, in a circular motion. I've done the light one across the bottom and then the dark downwards so that you can get all the colour variations in three stages on each square. Um, that's all those in there. And I haven't done any more. Which is really poor really, I should do because I've got loads of pencils and loads of uh, markers. Um, moving on again, uh, these are the 72 RTs of fine liners. Uh, these are my 48 Neo Colours by Karen Dash. Uh, I have some oil pastels in there. Sorry, that's gone a bit blurred, hasn't it? Um, those are my Tri Plus fine liners. I have a 42 count and a 50 count at the bottom there. In between those, uh, the Arteza, what are them? They're my Arteza coloured pencils. So they're all in there. In here, I have spare in spare uh, Polychromos, the Faber Castells. These are just what I've got surplus. So what I try and do is, if I know uh, a certain colour that I've got in here, I'll use these first for obvious reasons before going into the sets at the back. Um, in here, in Spider-Man, let's have a look what I've got in here. It's difficult to do with one hand. So what I should have done was set the uh, tripod up first. But what I wanted to do was make sure um, that I got some content on. So as you can see in here, these are bits and bats that I've got from Scrollerbox. Uh, and what I've tended to do is keep those in there um, until such times that I can separate them into their own little sets so there's that there um, <clears throat> and then moving down I have two colour me fearless uh, sorry two colour me books there which is one is fearless one is happy and the third one is colour me calm and then I have the last three colour in heaven uh, which is the fairies and friends the Native American mythology and the Strangelings one. This is one massive, mahoosive uh, tub of gel pens. Uh, I just tried to just 
bung them in so that they're all in reasonable uh, colour format but they start to drop and fall so it's very difficult to use I need to get something different than that otherwise I'll never be able to find the colours that I want and then moving across uh, more books we have the intricate ink we have the adorable animals grayscale classic albums colouring book this has let me down a bit really I thought it was going to be a great book I'm very much into my music as you can see by my tattoos um, I've got John Lennon here um, put that down a minute and then I've got David Bowie here um, massive Beatles fan and like I say it's let me down this book I got it and uh, as I've opened it I mean that's the Nirvana album cover I mean I think it's really poor the illustrations and not what you would expect. I mean, that's the Allman Brothers album cover. I mean, what's that, please? It's rubbish. So I've not really coloured in that for that simple reason. I was disappointed. So moving down, <coughs> I got two by accident of the A to Z of creative colouring. One of these is going to be a giveaway. I'm not going to... Uh, decide on how to do that yet because I haven't even got experience in running the channel yet so I'm just uh, going to think of something quite unique and then I'll give that away the Cursed Pirate Girl colouring book that's fantastic, I love it um, the Three Beauty of Horrors again I've got an extra copy of Debbie McComer uh, Come Home to Colour and then below that I'm not sure if I've got them all or not, but these are the uh, Fabiana uh, Atanasio books. And I think there is seven there, but I'm not sure if I've got the whole lot or not. Somebody will be able to comment and tell me. And then moving across <laughs> in here, I won't get it all out, but this is my paint cupboard. Uh, I have some acrylics. I have a massive pack of distressed inks at the back. Uh, with applicators, um, some metallic paint, and some sharpeners, and some, uh, what is that at the back? Let's have a look. Oh, it's black gesso. I've got a tub of black gesso at the back. So I'm, I'm really eager to try that for a midnight scene. Uh, here, uh, slightly not colouring related, uh, but these are Lego character encyclopedias. Uh, I am such a geek. Uh, I love Lego figures. Uh, I have done since I was a kid. Um, and I'm six foot four. I'm 17 stone and I have a Lego figure uh, <laughs> sat on my window ledge, but I don't care. Um, moving across, these are uh, the art supplies. Like I mentioned earlier, I've started to do some... Uh, some poster art and some basic comic sketching uh, so eventually I'm hoping that I'll be able to uh, use these pads and be able to create my own little illustrations from start to finish making the figures and then colouring them in um, myself so the next to the last row are some touch 5 markers which are rubbish and I think the ones next to them are touch new also very rubbish uh, don't use them I uh, wish I'd never bought them uh, like I said earlier on um, the home cube ones here are absolutely fantastic uh, they absolutely beat these other two hands down so I probably will find better use for this particular square in my uh, in my colouring cabinet so in this next one here um, I have three Mardell Rubio books, The Mascara, Halloween, then I have Fant Fantasia by Nicholas Fenton. Uh, I have another Fantasia book, but that's not the same version. And then Hidden Paradise by Chris Lopez. And then moving on, these are just some grayscale books. Um, just cheap and cheerful ones um, and then oh, actually 
these two are quite recent. Again, I think one of them was enabled by John, uh, the bibliophile colorist. Dreamlings 1 and 2 by Edwina McNamee. And they're moving across. Some more of these pictoras, but these are the big ones. Um, I'll get one out. I think I've done a couple in here, maybe one or two. Um, this particular one is the Daniela Jaglenka one. As you can see, they are full big illustrations on quality cardstock type paper. That's the one that I did quite recently. Um, I enjoyed doing that. I did that with uh, the Derwent Colorsoft and also used, um, what else did I use? I used a bit of the chalk pastel and then I used polychromos for the the yellows and the purple shading here. I used polychromos. But these are really nice books. Um, you can, if you, if you get the right picture, it is very possible that you could uh, give this away as a gift, can get it framed. I mean, I'm not sure that that's good enough to be uh, sent as a framed gift, but um, it's certainly uh, good enough if, if the colorist is good enough. Um, they are really good quality. I have a few of them. Um, I have the patterns one, I have the, so look, the travelogue one, the fairies, the cities, and the dragonis, draconis, sorry. So they're, they're um, once you get the hang of watercolour, I think they're going to be uh, one of my best purchases, to be honest. Then I have Nicholas F again with Serene. Um, and then I have some larger books here and some colour me, colour me, colour me sketch, I think they're called, uh, books. These are just like wildlife and various other bits and bats. In here, uh, I've got the spirographics around the world and rock heroes. I'm not going to tell you what these are because that's a separate episode and I'm quite looking forward to, uh, to showing that on my channel because I haven't seen anybody else do it. So moving across, those are the colour blend I told you about that I used in the uh, the Pictora large books. I also have uh, some Scribblicious uh, felt pens there bought from our local stationers uh, in England, which is called the Works. And then I have the smaller books here, um, Escape to Shakespeare's World, Christmas Past, Rita Berman books, that kind of thing. The ones that you can use for traveling and various other bits and bats. Moving across, uh, another shelf full. I won't go into each single one. Um, I'm leaving the uh, the camera here. Uh, you'll be able to see if there's any one in particular that anybody wants to look at. Just send me a message and I'm more than happy to, uh, to pull it out and do a flip through. So going down to the bottom, uh, that's just some odds and sods, some stencils and various other bits and bats. And then here is my creative haven pile from the bottom to up here. I've done quite a lot in there, so I'll do some flip throughs later on as my channel gets uh, more used to uh, being on YouTube. And on here, uh, down here, should I say, is my uh, Bennett Klein collection. And I've got so one, two, three, four, nine books there. I've done quite a lot in those, so that's a, that's another episode. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, that's another big pile of books. Um, again, if anybody wants to flip through with any of those, although there's nothing on the spines, I'm more than happy to do that. Uh, and then the final two shelves are more books. Uh, Wizard of Oz. Time Garden, British Kirkhoff, various other bits and bats. Nothing spectacular, to be honest. And that is empty. So, that's me, Dev Wilcox. Um, I'm hoping that you've enjoyed that. I've not quite finished in here yet, um, but winter is coming. 
So all you Game of Thrones fans, everything will be done in here by the time we've finished. This will be on the wall. This is one of my favourite bands, Oasis. There'll also be a picture of Sean Bean up here somewhere. Uh, and that's my family members at the top. I've kept them afar for obvious reasons. So this is my old garage. Um, it's really warm in here. There's no ventilation, obviously, because it's an old garage. So I do need a, a fan or something of similar ilk. Here's my table. Uh, you've seen the water, uh, the paintbrush holder, that little gadget that I've got. This is going to be my speaker when we get up and running. Psych. Um, I'll be streaming some music through there and I'll also do requests whilst we're doing the colour alongs. And then here's my laptop. Um, that's my baseball cap, don't really wear that much. Pencil sharpener, test pad, couldn't whip. And there we have it. Oh no, I do have other things. I forgot to show you. So in here, uh, I have all my Posca pens. Um, I think I've got about 20 odd in there. So they will come in handy somewhat. And then I've bought this pencil case here, uh, which I think holds 100 pencils. But I bought that specifically for da, 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 the Black Widow set. So I've got the Cobra, um, the Black Widow, sorry, the Cobra and the Scorpion. So they'll be uh, swatched and put into my new pencil case. Uh, sorry, it's a little bit untidy in here. Uh, it, I've moved house at the same time by the way so it's really really been uh, box after box after box after box so that's it for me um, any questions uh, feel free to add to the comments um, like I said this is my very first video so it probably sounds shit or crap or whatever you call it <laughs> uh, or in America I don't know what you call it there um, but I'm more than happy to learn and I'm also more than happy to uh, to do uh, flip throughs of any books that you want. I do have a good collection, so as you can see. So until next time, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Bye bye.